the planet has a heartbeat. So when you're talking about meditation, if you want to know why meditation works, have you ever meditated and then you, you just feel better? Even if you just sit there for a little while, you feel better. There's no way you can meditate and not feel better. It's not going to happen, all right, unless you go into meditation expecting something crazy. But if you just go into meditation and just sit there and be at peace, meditation is more about sitting still and letting everything go. Because when your eyes open, you're being affected with this light, cold lockdown. That's what light, cold lockdown is. You are an electrical being. You are a spirit and a soul. Remember that. You are a spirit and a soul at your core. That's electricity and magnetism. The soul is magnetism. The spirit is electricity. Do you understand what you're hearing? Because remember, just because you do, don't mean other 3,000 people on here is. We all resonate on different frequencies. We all at different parts of our journey. All right? But we live in a, a magnetic realm. All right. This is why magic works, because we are magnets. The planet itself has an electromagnetic frequency around it, and so does yourself. You have an electromagnetic frequency around your avatar that they call an aura. But we just not finding out about that. What they don't tell you is that the planet, how alive she is. They don't tell you that. Because if they told you that, you would be against them killing, cutting trees down. Even the trees that we see that we think are trees, like I've always told you, those are 30 millimeter bushes. This whole live is about nature right now because we talk about the 33rd parallel. And for you to understand the 33rd parallel and why is it a strong, such a strong energy source, you have to understand that the planet is alive, that the parallels are veins. Just like you have veins, the planet she has veins. I repeat. Just like you and I have veins in our avatar, the planet, Kai, she has veins in her avatar, all right? In her veins, they hide, they call them parallels or ley lines, all right? They don't really talk about it like that. You know, ley lines, because it's a metaphysical thing, they are writing off as a conspiracy theory. Anything that these oppressors, that these motherfuckers, that the oppressors cannot prove or understand with their, that's beyond their own comprehension, they'll just write it off and call it a conspiracy theory. Or if they know about it and they don't want you to access it, they'll call it a conspiracy theory. Or if anybody that's aware of the esoteric information, because they'll get the information and hide it from the public. But they know that they can't stop you from going within and accessing the Akashic records that are inside of you. So if you do raise your frequency enough to a high enough level to go within yourself and access these Akashic records, they, they'll write you off as a conspiracy theorist. I mean, America with three Ks has a whole bunch of titles for free thinkers, all right? Individuals that are that are very, very tapped in with the frequencies of the planet around here. They have a lot of names for us, all right? Sometimes they call us healers. Sometimes they call us clairvoyant. Sometimes they call us crazy. Sometimes they call us the chosen ones, sometimes they call us awoken ones, sometimes they call us conspiracy theorists, sometimes they call us an occult, sometimes they call us witches and warlocks when really that's them. I mean, they got a lot of different slick terminology to hide the fact that the planet is alive from you. I mean, remember, they consider this voodoo right here, y'all, because it's a black god sitting right here in a meditative position. It's a, it's a statue of a black god. But if it was Jesus sitting like that, shit, everybody love a nigga, wouldn't it? You see, the priming, that's the priming I was talking about. This how they prime your ass. Now, what's priming? Priming is when they put a bunch of visuals and audio and messages around you, but they do it subliminally. So you're not aware of it. But the whole time, it stays on your conscious. They, they prime your subconscious. And your subconscious is your soul. Your subconscious tells your conscious what to do. They've been priming you your whole life for this moment. They've been priming us. So that when we rise again, we start doubting it. You know? The form of priming you.